Hello everybody, I'm Freerider2142 and today I'd like to talk to you about how to induce yaw into a tandem rotor system. Unlike a coaxial, a coaxial rotor system, I cannot increase or reduce the torque of one of the rotors because it's centralized in an area of the helicopter and doing so would just try to tear the helicopter in half. So tandem rotor systems use a bit of a different system. Uh, if I go to my parts properties for the rear rotor, you will notice that I have it set up all the way down, third from the bottom, you have cyclic roll alt, and it's set to yaw. Now my rear rotor is inverted, while my front rotor is not inverted, but it's also set to yaw, because you want the front rotor to point you in the direction of the yaw, and the rear rotor to bring the rear of the helicopter in as well. So as you're spinning around, you're basically spinning in a big circle. Now, it does require a little, a bit of differences in control, uh, but they fly just the same as helicopters. You just need to be a little more wary of them. Uh, this helicopter is very basic. I built it. It's got 18 parts. I built it for this specific project. Uh, it's the first tandem rotor system that I built in the game. And I just want to show you um, how to set things up. So let's take it out for a flight. A bit shaky. No, I'm not going to take off yet. But if you'll see, if I give it now left yaw, the rear rotor is going to roll to the right and the front rotor is going to roll to the left and vice versa. I still have roll control over the helicopter, but I also have yaw control. So I'm going to start picking up. You need to be careful not to induce too much yaw because the rotor systems might get unbalanced and crash into each other or set you into a roll. So that all depends on the pitch and roll angles, pitch and roll angles that you have set on your rotor system. But as you'll see, now I'm flying pretty much forward and I have yaw control if I want to the left or try to stop it it's gonna take a while until it gives me authority and starting to roll to the right to yaw to the right sorry and that's pretty much about it uh, regarding tandem rotor systems they're not that hard but they are manageable a lot of, something that a lot of people don't realize about tandem rotor systems like the Chinook is that they are extremely fast but they are heavy so they're not the most maneuverable the Chinook, for example, is the second fastest helicopter currently in the world. Uh, there are going to come new helicopters much faster, but that's a bit of a different system. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this regard. Let's bring her down to a landing. Point the nose into the landing pad, start bringing her in. Now, tandem, rotor, tandem helicopters fly a little different than regular helicopters because of the way their lift is made. You don't have a center lift in the center line of the helicopter, you have a larger area of which your rotors are covering. So that gives you less maneuverability, but more weightlifting capability at the end of the day. So I hope this video helps. Um, really, I'll be really glad if it did. Uh, and please leave a like in the descriptions if you did. And follow me on Simple Planes to see more of this uh, style of videos or a little different like flying in multiplayer. But uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.